would be the perfect time to partake in some dark cottage core activities and make some cookies. But obviously in my true fashion, I didn't want to just bake cookies. I thought it would be fun to make a cool art project out of it. So today I'm going to be making these watercolor botanical cookies. And these are really fun to do because it's essentially like painting on a canvas, except it's a cookie, which is really cool and everything is absolutely edible. So I'm going to be showing you everything that I do from making the vegan royal icing to making our edible watercolor and then obviously making our painted design. So last night I went ahead and made some sugar cookies just using a basic vegan sugar sugar cookie recipe. Made sure that there were cutouts obviously because I had envisioned kind of making these really large rectangular cookies that would give me a very big canvas to work with. I wanted to let them also fully cool obviously before icing so I kind of did it the night before and then iced it the next day. Now for the icing, royal icing is really nice because it does harden and obviously it gives us a really nice smooth hard canvas in order for us to paint on. So I am vegan and typically royal icing is made with eggs and so I made a little bit of a variation from that. It's just a basic recipe that I feel like you find all over the internet but I used aquafaba instead of egg and that is essentially just the liquid that's kind of in the can of chickpeas. So, so I measured in a little bit of the aquafaba and I whisked it with my mixer. Then I'm going to slowly add sugar to make sure that the consistency is right because I want to have two batches, one that's a little bit thicker for when I pipe the edges and then for when I flood the cookie, something that's a little bit more runnier. Now that I have all my cookies frosted, I have to let them sit to make sure that they're fully dry or else it's gonna be a total mess when I go to paint. And now is the fun part. So I went online and I bought some gel food colors. I wanted to get some kind of cool colors or not so typically found in your local grocery store. First of all, I'm using gel color, which isn't what usually is found in the grocery store. Some groceries have it. I went online and bought some small bottles of just a couple various colors that I thought would go well. So I chose a plum, a mauve, and then a green that's called olive, something that was a little darker. So I wanted this to look kind of a little bit more drab. <laughs> I know that sounds like bad, but I wanted it to not be super vibrant and super lively. I wanted it to look a little bit darker, but still have colors that are kind of pink and purpley and green. So in order to make your watercolor paints, it's super easy. All you need is gel food coloring and a little bit of vodka. So I kind of do a one-one ratio as best as I can and mix it all together. So when I was mixing everything, and I did use one cookie to test everything out first to see how the colors would kind of pick up, and the plum was very not the kind of color I was expecting it to be. I thought it was gonna be a lot darker, and so I did end up adding just a smidge of black gel to both the mauve and the plum to kind of make them just a little bit more dull and a little a hair darker. So for these cookies, I wanted all of them to be slightly different and I wanted to explore just different kind of things, but at, at the center of it all, I wanted it to be very greenery heavy, more so than floral. So I kind of just wanted to lay the groundwork first by kind of creating these kind of wispy lines. I wanted it to look very elegant. So I'm gonna do is add some leaves. So for this, it's a really easy, small technique. You just take your brush and you add a little bit of pressure at the very beginning of the stroke and then lift off and it kind of naturally creates that, you know, bigger at the bottom, more pointed at the top leaf shape when you do that. And so it's a really easy way to kind of do leaves.
when I did the flowers, I wanted them to look, again, quite organic, not the most realistic. With a lot of the things that I draw, especially with flowers and botanicals, they're not really realistic a lot of times. Sometimes they're not even real flowers or plants, they're just basic shapes, and I kind of just work very freely with that. So I kind of like to trace an outline with the flowers. So I'd go in first and start with the center of the flower and kind of do like these squiggly marks and kind of like overlap kind of like petals. I let it dry for just a little bit, like I go on to another part of the cookie and paint something else. And once it's dried, I take just a very light amount of the same color and kind of do a wash over it. And that just helps kind of darken those lines and then add a little bit more color in the places that there wasn't. And here are the finished cookies. I think that they look super charming. I don't know if they'll be the tastiest, but it doesn't matter. It was a really fun, light little project to kind of welcome spring in and kind of, you know, feel that dark cottagecore baking, painting artistic kind of outlet. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you feel so inclined and you enjoy creative things. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye.